Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeni Keba Balola and today we're going to be looking at the IELTS writing discussion essay. If you watched my last video, you would realize that or you remember that I promised that this video would focus on a practice test that's on the, on the essay writing because the last video was about the IELTS writing task 2 structure. Now you know that there are five essay types and each of them um, you know, has its own structure. This time around, we're focusing on the discussion essay. So, um, we're going to dwell on the question I used in that last video that I made reference to, and that's um, taken from book 12, Cambridge IELTS book 12, test 8, task 2. It's on page 93. Before we continue, I'd like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. That's how you will know when I have new videos um, uploaded. So quickly, I'll read you the question, um, you know, to this task two essay, and then I'll read you what I wrote on the essay. I did that very quickly this morning so that, you know, the ideas are fresh and I can, you know, share my process with you. I'm going to um, type this into the description box. So please make sure you click down so that you can um, read this essay most likely as you know as you're watching so um, the question first of all some people believe that allowing children to make their own choices on everyday matters such as food clothes and entertainment is likely to result in a society of individuals who only think about their own wishes other people believe that it is important for children to make decisions about matters that affect them discuss both these views and give your own opinion okay so we know that this is a discuss you know both views kind of question and it happens to be the most um tricky one and somewhat technical for a lot of people especially because of the controversy of um should you have four paragraphs or five as i have told you in previous videos according to british council educators you should have five paragraphs for this type of essay this is the only essay type in the ielts exam where you have to have five paragraphs. So your first paragraph is your introduction. Your second paragraph is your first body, which is, you know, your discussion of the first view. Um, your third paragraph, which is body two, is your discussion of the second view. And then the fourth paragraph is your own view. That's where you get to tell us your opinion on this, you know, the two discussions or the two perspectives. And then paragraph five is your conclusion. So that's the question. If I would, you know, paraphrase it very quickly, it's saying, okay, there's this group, group A, and, you know, they believe that when you allow children to decide, you know, their own food and clothes and entertainment and things that have to do with their day-to-day -day needs, when you allow children to, you know, decide to by themselves, they're going to become selfish because they will only be interested in themselves. That's the first group. Now, group B is saying... You actually should allow children to decide such things by themselves, okay? So the question now is, what is your view? Are you agreeing with the first group or the second group or are you coming up with something new? Um, now, if you remember the last video, you know, I talked about the structure and apart from understanding the essay type and, you know, what each one should look like, you should know how to write each paragraph. So you know your introduction is going to have a paraphrase of the question in one sentence and in the second sentence you present your own opinion it is important that you provide these two sentences in your first paragraph now your second paragraph is where you you know you present the first view so that paragraph as well as the other two paragraphs in the body you know section should have three sentences each your first sentence should always be your topic sentence your second sentence should always be your supporting sentence, which expands on your first sentence. And your third sentence should be your example sentence. Um, finally, you know, in paragraph five, you have the conclusion. So let's not um, take too much time. Right now, I'm just going to read you what um, I wrote in my own essay. I'll read it from top to bottom so that, you know, I don't have any talk in between, any extra talk, you know, in between. As soon as I'm through re reading it, I'm going to break it down, you know, and uh, make reference to those parts that you should pay attention to. 
Okay, so um, please remember that you can you find this in the description box. So please click downward so you can find you know what I'm reading to you. So this is it. Some individuals argue that encouraging children to decide daily issues such as feeding, clothing, and fun independently could lead to a world of selfish individuals, whereas others claim that children should be allowed to choose their personal wishes. In my opinion, the age of a child should be considered before empowering them with the power or discouraging them from making daily choices. On the one hand, children who make personal choices could become self-centered. What this means is that when a child learns early to choose between a variety of meals, attires, or relaxation activities, they might seek only their own interests and neglect the feelings of others. For example, an 11-year-old boy who is allowed to eat double ration of food than normally should have will be reducing the food quantity of other people in his home. On the other hand, children who make decisions concerning daily activities learn independence. This therefore implies that a young child who is granted permission to accept or refuse specific meals, outfits, and fun engagements will develop the ability to think on their own. To illustrate this, Teenagers whose parents support them in terms of personal shopping and leisure are known to make sound decisions which are applaudable. In my opinion, the age factor of children affects their decision making. Younger children should be guided by adults or their parents, while teenagers can be permitted to choose whatever they want. For instance, babies need their parents to choose their food. But teenagers do not necessarily need to be told that excess sugar or fat is harmful. In conclusion, although certain individuals defend independent decision making for children and some other persons claim that this could lead to self-centeredness, I firmly believe that children's age should not be overlooked in such matters. Period. <laughs> so that's it. I, I hope I wasn't too fast. I think I have that tendency to just, you know, just speed up. Um, so that's it for this task. So this is you know, an IELTS discussion essay, and I read you my five paragraphs. The first paragraph was my introduction. The second paragraph was the first view. The third paragraph was the second view. The fourth paragraph was my opinion, and the fifth paragraph was the conclusion. Now, um, I'm going to show you my writing the way it is. Now, I know you can't see it too clearly, but if it happens that you can, you see that I made some cancellations. I had to cancel some, um, some words afterwards. And why? I counted my words and realized that I had over 300 words. And um, I know I have that tendency to always write more than. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what happens with me. Now, how was I able to fix that? I had some time left while editing, so or for editing, so I was able to edit. And most of the words I removed from this were repetitions or phrases that were not necessary. Honestly, when you are writing, please do not edit at the same time. Because what can happen is you're disturbing your thought process. But if you allow yourself just to write smoothly, I didn't make any mistakes while I was writing. But as soon as I finished and I counted and I realized that, come, this looks more than, you know, what it should be, I decided to cut it down. And um, it's still the same structure of, you know, your introduction as your paraphrase and your opinion, your first view as um, the topic sentence, the supporting sentence, and then the example sentence. The same thing for the second view, topic sentence, supporting sentence, example sentence, and then my opinion as well topic sentence, supporting sentence, and then example sentence. And in the conclusion, I actually just used one complex sentence to wrap up, you know, paraphrase the question again, and then present my point. Now, um, if you did read along, you notice that there's this coherence and flow in the writing. And that's because I took some time to prepare my outline before I started writing. Now, if you remember what I said about the outline in the previous video, you see that your outline involves 
the steps you take to answer the question even before you begin to write. So besides the fact that you paraphrase the question so that you understand it better, you should also more or less think about your points. Brainstorm. Think about your points before you write. What this does for you is that you already have a direction before you get on the road. So you more or less know where you're going. Let's say you're going shopping and then you don't have a grocery list. It means that when you get to the market or the store, you might just pick, you know, so many things. Some of them, you know, you, you didn't probably have on your budget or something like that. The idea is your outline helps you to know what you're going to write before you even begin to write. And so, um, yes, this was the paper. Yes, so this was, um, I think, yes, on, um, yeah, I had, I had the paper I used for my outline before I actually wrote this. And, you know, this is also typed into the description, description box. What it means is I won't ever skip the process of writing the outline because it helps me to think ahead of time. And the beauty of the outline is as soon as you have your outline, you have your points, you know, before you begin to write, all you'll be doing is building it up, building it up. And it would flow. Your writing would flow naturally. Okay. Then you also see my use of um, creative devices. I started with on the one hand for the first view, and then I used on the other hand for the other view. And then to present my opinion, I said in my opinion, you could change that to I believe that or I think that. Okay, or in my view, you know, those are phrases you use to express your opinion when you're writing the IELTS um, writing task. So now, um, I want you to look at my first, the first sentences in the three body paragraphs. The first one says, on the one hand, children who make personal choices could become self-centered. That was the point I add for those who say, they would, you know, become, they would eventually lead um, to a society of selfish individuals or people who, let me use the exact words, who only think about their own wishes, okay? So somebody who thinks about their own wishes alone is definitely um, self-centered or self-focused or selfish, if you can use that word. So the idea is I came up with certain other vocabulary that would express what the question is actually saying. And in my topic sentence, I made it brief, you know, short. So that when the examiner reads, they know what I'm going to say in further lines or in further sentences. That was the topic sentence for the first body paragraph. Now, the topic sentence for the other paragraph was, on the other hand, children who make decisions concerning daily activities learn independence. So the first group says they'll become self-centered. The second group says they'll become independent. And from an early age. So you see that I made it clear from the outset what I was going to be writing about and then for my own um, you know view I said in my opinion the age factor of children affects their decision making so somehow I'm bringing a balance into it okay let's look at the child's age if you're looking at children who are like a seven year old or a six year old or somebody younger you know you definitely would want to guide such a child in you know making choices okay is this what you want are you sure this is what you want and all of that but if you're dealing with a teenager somebody who's like 14 <laughs> he or she definitely um has you know a, a good level of understanding about certain things so you can decide to trust their judgment to an extent so that's what i did i i made sure i did this this morning so that um it's not fast if i had it all processed down somewhere and you know, I just dug it up. I, I decided to keep it fresh so that my thoughts were fresh and I could express it to you as if it were a real test. Now, um, so you've seen the topic sentence for each of them. Now, I'll show you the relationship between the supporting sentence that I used in the other three. That's, you know, for the three of them. In the first body paragraph, my first supporting sentence, you know, I talked about the point self-centeredness. So this is you know, that supporting sentence now is like an explanation of the first sentence. What this means is that when a child learns early to choose between a variety of meals, attires, or relaxation activities, they might seek only their own interests and neglect the feelings of others. I'm just explaining what it means to be selfish or to be self-centered. That's what your supporting sentence is. It is just an elaboration of the first point of, you know, the point you made in your first sentence. The, the supporting sentence for the second view now, I'm going to read that. 
This therefore implies that a young child who is granted permission to accept or refuse specific meals, outfits, and fun engagements will develop the ability to think on their own. That's what independence is, right? Mm -hmm. So all I did was I, you know, just, you know, um, expanded it in that sense. And then the supporting sentence for my own view now was, younger children should be guided by adults or their parents, while teenagers can be permitted to choose whatever they want. So you see, your supporting sentence is just an explanation of your topic sentence. It's just that when your topic sentence is simple and straightforward, your supporting sentence can be complex. It would um, stretch or extend a little further. And then let's look at the examples that I used in the three body paragraphs. My first example, you know, for the self-centered point was, for example, an 11 year old boy who is allowed to eat double ration of food than he normally should have would be reducing the food quantity of other people in his own. This is definitely, you know, you can almost picture this in your mind because I'm giving you a a near real example of what selfishness looks like. So if a child takes more than their portion, it means that they don't care about the feelings or wishes of others. That was my first example. Your example does not need to be research. You know, I've talked to a lot of people who want to say, who, who would write, um, according to this research, according to that study, there was this report that said, you don't need that, you don't even need figures. Just when, you know, the question says, or the instruction always, say, always says, give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience this doesn't have to mean that somebody reported it somewhere on the news or there's this you know book somewhere or there's this journal or this paper somewhere all you need is something you know that happens in your world simple so let me take you to the second example now the example for the point about independence to illustrate this, it's the first time I used, for example, this time around I'm using to illustrate this. Teenagers whose parents support them in terms of personal shopping and leisure are known to make sound decisions which are applaudable. So it's just like saying a, a, a mother goes to, you know, goes with her daughter to the market and her daughter says, hey mom, I want this, you know, I want this dress. And the mom says, okay, now the idea is she's not going to impose what she wants on the daughter. She's allowing the child to look at what she wants and then pick it. That doesn't mean it's going to be a, an inappropriate wear. But the idea is the mom is giving a child that room to decide what she wants. Now, encouraging that in children means that they would eventually gradually make sound decisions because they know that they are trusted to think right for themselves. And then the example for my own point was, for instance, babies need their parents to choose their food, but teenagers do not necessarily need to be told that excess sugar or fat is harmful. Okay, so you see that I was talking about the age factor. Babies, you know, I'm comparing babies with teenagers. So for babies, it means that you still need to guide them. And then because babies already have this natural tendency to be selfish, if you understand what I mean. So, um, but teenagers, you can actually trust that, okay, um, you know, they know what is right, at least to an extent, and you can allow them decide what they want for themselves. And then in my conclusion, you see that I just paraphrased what the introduction was, and I added, I firmly believe that children's age should not be overlooked in such matters. In such matters is, you know, referring to the two positions about allowing them make decisions about daily or everyday matters. So this is what the discussion essay is in brief. I hope you learned a lot and um, I'd like to read your comments. You know, was it straightforward? Did you learn from it? Please write your comments in the comment section and I would, you know, I'll be glad to read and reply once again, remember that you can improve your English with EnglishNiger.com. You can get better, you know, at speaking, reading, writing, and listening to English. And if you need to take the IELTS mock test, remember that you can visit TakeIELTS.net, T-A-K-E-I-E-L-T-S dot N-E-T. Once again, my name is Adenike Babalala. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>
don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful time thank you bye bye